What's up y'all? Today I'm gonna show you how to get Fortnite on your Mac. I already made this video, but this is a simplified version. Um, and I'm gonna go more in depth of how I actually did it. Hopefully this helps any any issues, any errors you have. So when you unzip it, these are the two files that you'll see. So in here we have something called Fortnite Mac Assistant and Side Loadly. So Fortnite Mac Assistant, this is what you're gonna use to download the Fortnite files um, and patch the app. And side loadly, this is what you're gonna use to first get the game on your computer. All right, so that's what these two are. And then this is like the actual game folders of Fortnite in the persistent download directory. So first thing you wanna do is you wanna take both of these and drag it to your applications. And this is because Dragging it to the applications gives it the permissions that it needs to run. Um, if you try to run, if you try to run side loadly from either your desktop downloads, something like that, not in your applications, you're gonna get an error called daemon launch error or daemon uh, agent error or something like that. And that's just because it doesn't have required permissions. So make sure that you put it both in your applications. Okay, cool. So we did that. So now we go into our applications. And number one. We're going to open up a Fortnite Mac Assistant. All right, so let's do that. All right, so we have our Fortnite Mac Assistant here. We have our three IPAs. We have our default Fortnite. We have a script version of Fortnite. And then we have a tweaked version of Fortnite. And we're going to download this tweaked version because um, it's just easier to do everything with your mouse. I guess you could try these if the tweak doesn't work, but the tweak should work. Uh, and we're gonna run through some problems that you could encounter to make sure that it works. So step one is to download this file. Our bet. So we downloaded to the IPA. So it should be in your downloads folder. Mine's a little messy, but here it is. Ford I tweak IPA. So our next step is to go down to side loadly and open that one as well. And I got this error, side loadly cannot be open, can't verify, blah, blah, blah. This is what we're gonna do. You're gonna open up your terminal. Okay, cool. You're gonna type in zatter CR out of space. And then you're just gonna drag side loadly, click enter. What this does, is strip um i don't remember if it's like certificates or how it's signed or something but this will change the permissions so that it runs on your computer but what you have to do after that you go to your system settings go down to privacy and security go down go down go down side loadly was blocked to protect your mac you're gonna open that hole anyway all right we are now officially inside loadly so Step one inside of side loadly, you have your Apple ID right here, okay? So you just need to tap, you tap, you just need to type in your Apple ID, okay? Blah 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 at iCloud.com, and then that's all you need to do. And then what you're gonna do is you see this little IPA uh, thing here? Here, let me move this down. So you're gonna go back into your downloads, find that tweak, drag it in there. Cool. And you should see this icon pop up. So you need to download or you need to enter your Apple ID because you are technically running the mobile version. So you need your iOS, you need your iOS account. And that's that's what's gonna sign this. You can think of it like that. So once you have everything in here and you have your Apple ID in here correctly, you just wanna click start. And then this will pop up, just click cancel. Nobody wants to do that. And then wait for that to download and sign itself. All right, so that's done signing. Um, you can also check the time up here if you wanna see like how long approximately this process takes. Okay, but we got this and it's done. So now what we're gonna do is go back to Fortnite Mac Assistant. Okay, so find Fortnite. You can just type in Fortnite in your spotlight. 
We're gonna try to open it up. Let's see what happens when we open it up. It's gonna crash, that's what's gonna happen. But I believe first, a personal testing icon is gonna pop up. Here we go. So Fortnite is for personal testing. Just click OK. Go to your system settings. I'm definitely gonna have to blur that message out, bro. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Fortnite was bought to protect your Mac. Open it anyway. And then enter your password or your touch ID. And then always trust apps. That just makes everything easier. Touch ID. It's going to open and then it crashed. Amazing. That's exactly what we want. So now we want to go back to Fortnite Mac, Mac Assistant and click Patch App. Cool. Alright, so I first tried to do this with the full archive and I couldn't get that shit to work for the life of me. So I switched over to this bare bones. Um, so that's why uh, in the start of the video it was a different name than now but i'm only gonna have the bare bones in the google drive so don't worry about that but this is the most important and definitely the most difficult part of the installation process so just lock in follow along and have some grit all right after you patch it you want to go to import archive click this top container zip file and you're going to select this bare bones previously i had the full archive up but I don't know what's happening. That's just not working. So we're going to go with the bare bones. And then, yes, you want to import it. Okay, cool. So now we're going to open up Fortnite. We're going to sign in to our Apple ID. Okay. All right, and now we're just gonna click this red X and it's gonna download in the background. So I'd wait like five minutes, do something for like five minutes. And if you want, you can go to your finder, um, go library, containers, Fortnite, data, and actually you can just click data, you get info, and you should see that this is going up, so that's great. So I believe, um, what was it, I think it's like 4.4 .4 gigabytes, um, that's how much it's going to take, so just wait until whatever um, it said when you were downloading it, just wait until that number hits it. All right, so it's a little more than 4.4, but it's done. So now we're going to open up Fortnite one more time. And you can see it went backwards again, so we're just going to click X. Okay, we're going to try this one more time. Close out, open up, and then immediately close it out one more time. Okay, looks like it's stalled one more time. Open on Fortnite. Just gonna click the X while it's installing. That's good that we got to the installing part. Close this and see if anything changed. Nope. All right. So going up Fortnite again. Okay. So we did the hardest part of actually getting into Fortnite. But let's see. Let's say I want to play Peace Control. Oh, I gotta download it. So. I don't have to download Peace Control, I have to download Creative, but I mean, it doesn't really matter. You can do whatever. So you're, you're gonna click Download, wait for it to start, let it like do like one thing, or like 1%. Okay, 
Actually, I'm gonna just do creative, because it's probably easier. Just type it creative. Creative, yes. Click download, and then click this red X. So once again, you should see this changing, at least. And what, it was like five gigabytes, so come back when this is like 12. And in my first video, I we used the full archive, like 9, 10 gigabyte, and whatever it was. Uh, but this one is the bare bones, and this one allows you to download stuff in the background. Um, so that's why we used this one, because the full archive wasn't working. And I believe if you want to check progress, you can open up Fortnite and then just close it again immediately. I believe so. We're going to try it out. Okay, no, we can't. But you can see it's still downloading in the background, so we're just gonna let it do that. All right, so I don't really feel like sitting here and just watching this number go up by like 0 0.2, so I'll be back. I'll be back whenever this is done. Okay, cool, so I'm back. You can see that it's stalled out one more time, so we're gonna go into Fortnite and we're gonna see if it uh, finished downloading, but I don't think it did. Quite honestly yeah okay so we're just gonna click X one more time okay and then you can see when we open it again it's back to downloading so let's see how far we got with the download Creative, okay, this failed. Creative, all right, let's see, let's see. Three gigabytes, all right. So now just click download. Okay, so we're at like 73. Or again, we're gonna close out. And what else we're gonna do is we're gonna go into Fortnite, data, documents, Fortnite game, persistent download, and delete this. Okay, now we're gonna open up Fortnite again. Okay, so now we're really close to finishing. Uh, it's not downloading anymore, but we're just gonna click down on. Okay, it's still stalling out. I'm gonna try this one more time. Click this, close it. Open. Okay, we're gonna close because I don't know why that's stalling out. Open it one more time. Okay, we're gonna force quit this. There we go. There we go. Holy fuck. <laughs> Holy shit. But we finally got creative. So let's go to peace control. You can see we got play. And actually, let me go into a creative just to show you guys that I'm not bullshitting with you.
plan. Mm -mm. So yeah, this definitely takes a while. It definitely takes determination. Definitely takes multiple attempts. But I mean, how bad do you want to play Fortnite, bro? <laughs> if you really want to play Fortnite, then I mean, what are you gonna do? Mm -mm. All right, and we're in. So there you go. And so let me tell you, building does not work on this. I mean, you can technically glitch it out, but it's really shit. If you have a controller, play with a controller. And on, like honestly, just play with a controller. Um, but yeah, hopefully that solved any issue that you had. Um, you can see in the time. I don't remember when I started, but it definitely did take a lot. Or definitely did take a little bit. But we're all good now. So I hope that solved any of your questions, any of your errors. I hope it was simple enough to follow along. Um, and yeah, I mean, you could join the Discord down below if you need any more help. Uh, I'm perfectly fine with some one-on-one -on -one troubleshooting. Just send me a DM. You can hop on a call. No worries. No worries. Uh, but yeah, there you go.